While on the topic of styling components, let's learn about this unique selector called host. We'll learn what it is and why we need it. I'm gonna again start with some kind of a scenario which lets us test this out. You see here we have the blog tiles, but they're all kind of close to each other. I wanna set aside some margin so that they get spaced out a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is go to the blog post tile component, obviously, and add the CSS for the margin. So what's the root element in my markup? We have the card. I'm gonna add a new style so that I don't use the existing bootstrap styling to override my styles. This is again another best practice. When you're styling your elements, don't piggyback on the bootstrap styles that you already used. Create your own classes and style them so that if this were to change and there's no longer a card anymore, maybe you wanna do some other element, you can still separate out your styling, right? It's the best practice for you to remember. All right, so I'm gonna call this uh, blog tile, all right? I'm giving it a new class name, and in my class, I'm going to say dot blog tile, and then I'm gonna call it the margin as, let's say 20 pixels. Again, an exaggerated amount, but I wanna do that so that we can see the difference. So here you see now these elements are separated out with the 20 pixel margin. But what if I wanna do something a little bit different? I'm gonna open the developer tools here. And um, let's examine what we've done. We have put the block tile, style the class to the div here, and then we have set the margin to that thing. And since we have switched off view encapsulation in the previous video, we don't have the attribute for this div, all right? And we get this 20 pixels over here, which is great. But now what if I wanna do something a little bit different? What if I don't want to apply this margin to the class to the div inside the component, but what if I want to apply that margin to the component element itself? Now, what's the component element? It is this thing here, which is the app blog post tile, right? You see this? There is a bunch of these elements that were created by the parent app blog list. Now, what if I want to style this element and not the div inside it? How do I do that? Let's go back to our markup. Here's the blog post style. Do we see that element here? We actually don't. That is actually a part of the parent here. You see this? This is what's rendering that element. Now, how do I style this? Well, of course, technically I can put the styling over here, right? The, this is the parent component and I wanna style the markup inside that template. So I go to that thing and then say margin is 20 pixels, but that might not always be ideal. I'm actually adding style to uh, about the tile into the parent component, whereas what I wanna do is apply the style to the component itself so that wherever the component is used, that style goes with it. Now, if I put it to the parent, I need to remember to put that to every consumer of that blog post style, which is not really very elegant. Now, is there a better way for the component to style this thing, which is the app blog post tile, right? How can I do this when this markup itself isn't there in the component? Well, I can do this by using a special selector called host. I'm gonna to go to the CSS here. There is this option called colon host, all right? This is a special selector provided for Angular components, which lets Angular know that what you're styling is not the top node of your component, but one level up, which is the parent, right? It is the markup, it is the selector, which resulted in this component rendering, right? If you do this, Angular is going to apply the style to the parent component. But here's one thing that you need to remember, when you do, when you use host, you cannot use view encapsulation because this uh, view encapsulation none, and in the sense you need to do view encapsulation, sorry about that. So with the host attribute, the colon host that I talked about works only when you've got view encapsulation set to the default. Uh, but when you have that set, we can actually check this out. We go to the app blog post tile. You see here, you get the margin 20 pixels. This is applied to the parent here. 
all right? So this is how this works. Uh, and uh, as you can guess, Angular is out doing this by generating these attributes, which is why you had to turn off your encapsulation. Angular is creating these uh, attributes to apply these styles, and then it figures out what the parent is for a particular component and then applies the style for that parent, and it does that automatically by doing all this attribute injection. But this is how you can technically apply styles to the to the component itself and not to the markup inside the component. And you can do that from within the component. Here, you don't see a lot of difference because it's really the 20 pixel margin that's getting applied over here. But then, as you can see, it's getting, up, getting applied to the thing, to the component itself rather than the div within the component. There are cases where you might need this and it's handy to remember that this is what you need to do to get that styling applied.